Hi, here's uh, a new video of my latest update on this ATV. It's a 700 diesel. The, this update I made is a rear differential. Yes, you heard right, it's a rear differential. The same as in front, so I have a differential lock. It's right here. Here is the lever. It's uh, basically it's the same differential as in front. Uh, but it, I have modified it so it fits in the rear. It fits bolt on in the frame uh, mountings, but uh, one thing, thing that I need to modify is the front of the differential housing. You see uh, the front part there where the pinion shaft goes in, it's um, from the front, fr from the old rear gear housing. I have, I have uh, replaced it because there's an mechanism then that actuates the front wheel drive that one is removed here so the propeller shaft and the front part of the differential housing is the old one from the rear gear housing and here you see the differential lock cable wire going in mounts quite quite neat here drive uh, the drive axles didn't fit, so I uh, did shift only the, the the CVT joints. The CVT joints are from the front axles, and the drive axle and the outer CVT joint is from the rear stock. So everything else fits nice and and easy. So uh, it's only the front part here you must replace and the CVT uh, joints. That's about all and you need to place this lever, differential lock lever somewhere. I placed it here. It's The cable wasn't longer than so, so that's only the place I can have it. Uh, the newer differentials after 2009 have electric engagement. So uh, this ATV is a 2010, so from, from the front differential I have this electric engagement here and I have also mounted a lamp here as you can see there's a red uh, LED lamp that one indicates when the front differential is locked I have um, mounted a switch here right above the lock engagement lever there's a switch that uh, actually senses if uh, the differential gears have been locked that's very good to have if you you're stuck somewhere in the mud and you need to engage the differential and you want to know if it's fully engaged before you get throttle on it and probably may damage some gears or so. So here I have uh, rollers on one rear wheel. I will back the machine up on these rollers and uh, well I will show you how it works. It works as a as a differential should work but it will be nice to see. Let's start it up here. It's warm in the garage so I don't need to glow. Well maybe I should. It's good to run it on the starter uh, a while because then I get oil pressure be be before the engine fires. That's always good for the engine. So, so you don't need to wait for the glow plug light to turn off. Just crank it a bit. It will be good. The glow plugs, glow plugs are always uh, engaged when uh, when you turn the starter. So, put it in reverse and. Well, it only spins the rear wheel. I'll need to lock the differential. So, now it's locked.
Now I'm on the rollers. Maybe. Or maybe not. Let's take a look at the other wheel. This one's spinning. This one is standing still. So let's engage the differential lock. I engage the lever here and twist the throttle just easy before the differential engage there it has engaged so climbs off the rollers Well, that was about all. You need to be careful when engaging the differential, the locker. If uh, you get too much throttle before it has engaged, you can damage the gears. So you need to give it a little bit throttle before you take off, so the wheel spins around a li little bit. Well, thanks for, for watching. Bye.